Hi friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> yeah, I make a dressing today. Just a video for a dressing because I found a base for a dressing with walnuts and chili. And that's not easy because um, walnuts have a complex flavor, that's so they say. Uh, um, and um, as opposed, for example, to macadamia, a very gentle, simple flavor. Uh, small and a little bit sweet. Oh, but the macadamia I find I find also a little bit complex. Yeah, held something strong. If I make cheese, macadamia is definitely different than the cashew cheese, who I would say is simple more. Yeah. So, but but walnut is still more complex because it has stronger bitter note and it's some kind of kind of dry and it is not easy to to combine with other ingredients. I went wrong sometimes, several times with the walnut in the dressing. Um, but with the chili, that works amazing, I noticed. And that was the last dressing. I made a curry salad, like a corn salad, with this uh, walnut dressing, chili walnut dressing, amazing, like a mayonnaise. Yeah. And now I will refine this um, ch um, chili walnut mayonnaise. And we refine it with a little bit of, of onion and, and mustard seed. I guess this is more the, the kind of um, flavors I would combine with the walnut. So I'm very excited about this new combination. Never did that before, it must be nice. I will try. First I show you, I'll show you the ingredients so you have an idea of the quantities of the measurements and then I will just blend it and taste it and I will see, I'm very excited. Here, I have a half of an avocado. This is a, has been a large avocado as you can see. And well, some walnuts here, that will be enough to give me the right flavor. So it's about half-half here, the quantity. And um, I guess, you know what? I, I take some more walnuts here, some more, yeah. I guess that is a, a nicer for the walnut flavor. So a little bit more, yeah. So half-half, avocado, walnut, half-half. Good, so that is, that is the first part and then uh, that is the fatty part. I, that is a classical way to make a dressing, the fatty part and an acidic part. This is some um, sour flavor. It's a lemon. It's a small lemon. Now, I just peel it. That's all I need to do. These blenders are amazing for making dresses so creamy. The high-speed blender especially, I can recommend <clears throat> if you can get one. At first I began with a very inexpensive blender, not even 100 bucks, and it did for years. But when I had the first high-speed blender, I knew I wanted the blender. First, I didn't know I begin. I knew I begin with a blender, and I didn't know it was a blender the right instrument for me, the right tool in the kitchen for me. But after a while, I got a, yeah, I, I wanted a better, better blender for soups and these creamy dressings. And if you can't do that, I highly recommend a good blender. Uh, it's such a difference, yeah. So, for example, you just put the lemons in there without the peel. You don't feel anything about the skins and silos, so very nice. So this is the base here, and then you would just put in um, a spice. Yeah, that is uh, uh, the next step would be a seasoning. Here I have the chili. That is the thing that works with walnut for sure. It fires up that dry flavor to the walnut uh, very nicely. This dry earthy flavor, earth and fire, very nice. And I have a big amount, a huge amount of, of salt here. These are almost two tea, I would say two teaspoons. I thought at first it would be less, but it has to be two, two teaspoons. Really seems to be taking on a lot of um, uh, flavor into the, into the avocado. There's a lot of fat in there. That might be the reason why I need a lot of salt here. And here only a, a third of a teaspoon of these um, mustard seeds. Yeah, I have these brown ones. You can also take the yellow ones, they are usually easier to find, the brown ones are a little more expensive. I like the flavor a little bit more, but uh, the, when you buy that, my dealer says, uh, oh, there's no difference. But I think there's a difference, but if you like, the, the, the yellow ones easier to find everywhere. It uh, doesn't need to be the brown ones. Yes, um, a little bit of mustard seed goes a far away, it's a long way, it's a very strong flavor. And same with the onion, just a little bit of onion, it's a quarter onion, it shouldn't be more. I have a lot of dressing here, so I take a quarter, the flavor is very strong. When it's fresh and you have uh, onion powder, you can take a little bit more uh, because the fresh onion um, is very strong. Yeah. Uh, it might be nice also to use the all onion powder. It is not only um, less strong or weaker, it is also rounder. Yeah, the fresh onion is a little bit more edgy. 
Um, might I take just a quarter of an onion? Let's see how it, what it works, or what it, if it works. I guess it would, but let's see. So water, of course, to make the dressing runny. We always need runniness in the dressing to dress, to coat everything. Now the salad it depends on the salad if you take more or less water. Uh, firm ingredients like corn or so, or bell pepper, you can take more firm or thicker dressings and the light salad leaves, yeah, like lettuce or so, of course, refines the light and more runny dressings, to, otherwise they get mashed up. That's a, just a, a gross um, rule. So I begin with a medium amount of water to still have it um, either way. Let's make the banner dance and then see. <laughs> Procedure first, I make a, a little dressing uh, with the least amount of ingredients. We have the, the walnut and um, the avocado, a little of lemon, chili, and salt. I needed these five ingredients to make the dressing nice, and once I found it works, I can begin to refine it. I guess it was a very nice uh, refining refinement here with, with uh, mustard seed and onion. Very excited. Let's see if it works. Uh, Yes, it's creamy, yeah, and it's creamy. It, it could be yet in a mayonnaise or it could be to, to, a, to a sauce more. But the flavor now, that's, that's first now. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. This is the perfect balance for the, for the walnut. In the other dressing, the walnut was there, yes, it was also strong. It was very nice at dressing, but here, the, with the, the onion and the mustard seed, it's really um, a very complex flavor. And in this complexion, the walnut is just one piece, one piece, and it's very round. Oh, it's an awesome flavor. I don't know if I want to make more, put more water in there now. Maybe it's very creamy now. I'm just thinking, maybe I don't need to because. When I want to make, for example, one of these corn salads, I'm looking forward to that again, it was a nice one, and I'm going to try it with this one. I would like to have it a little bit more creamier, so I let it here a creamy, um, and if I want to make another dressing with a lighter salad, I can always add some water, and maybe a little bit more salt if needed. More water means you have less flavor, so maybe a little more seasoning. So I'll show you the dressing. This is usually a container. I, I collect these containers. I cleanse them when I buy something like a mayonnaise or so in the, in the shop. I cleanse them and store them to put my dressings in there for, well, a week or so. Such a dressing would keep usually. There's salt in it. There's some lemon in it. The chili makes it also um, um, du durable. So, yeah, can you see? Nice color. That's from the chili pepper. And the creaminess, that's from the avocado and from the walnut, um, combining these two, nuts and avocados, gives it a very nice um, texture, very light and creamy. Um, that's what I like. This is my new... My new... Um, walnut dressing, walnut mayonnaise. And I don't know yet what kind of name I will give it. Maybe something with onion in the title. The main ingredient must be onion mustard or maybe so chili. I don't know. I will see which I find. It's very nice. And I'm looking forward to the next slide I will make exactly with this dressing. I have a little store here. Maybe I have, yeah, maybe two of these glasses I have. I can make some salads. And you will see which one there will be. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's an amazing dressing. Very glad I tried. And, um, well, if you like, subscribe and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Hope to see you.